Hello everyone, welcome back to channel one, where I have updated the name for the hunter deck, which I'm sure brings all of you a great joy. We're jumping on the ladder with it because we sort of felt a little bit uncomfortable about it yep. last time, yep. but I couldn't quite put my finger on why, well I know vaguely why it's we're splitting down too many channels, yeah. but I couldn't work out yeah. quite what we need to cut, what we need to change, what we need to build, that kind of stuff to streamline a bit and decide what path we want to go down. So I'm going to hand controls back to TVC. And uh, ooh, I we... think keep companion, throw away shot, keep trap. I think definitely throw away shot. What are we looking at? Hunter, trap, you could definitely keep. I think companion is always good. So yeah. And we're on the play, so ideally a secret keeper or something like that would be... Would be exactly what we're receiving. Huh. It's the gods. You ask them and they will receive. And actually, snake trap is a way better trap for us than explosive trap tend to anyway. Yeah. Because when they try to hit in to remove this, we get more guys. Everyone loves guys. It's going well. Everyone loves guys. <laughs> and this is Mech Hunter. So, uh... A classic. Well, we know the answer here. Just play the yeah. trap. Yeah, because otherwise, explosive trap only triggers mm. if he attacks you. The question becomes, do you clear his guy off? Do you not? I think we go to the face. He's not going to be mepping on turn two. Yeah. We can start looking at explosive trap, animal companion, how that's going to help us. Eagle horn bow allows us to remove stuff. So it's got swings and roundabouts. Plus, we put the decision in his court now. What does he want to do? He how does, is he going to get rid of Is he going to try and attack us, thinking maybe it's explosive trap? Uh, he can mech on turn two. We make some guys. Which, with his magnetic thing, is not the worst. So, we definitely could play that better. The question is, how do you want to clear this board off? I think you trade one of the... I think trade you one. Dribble. Of... Do you want to completely clear it off? We do, don't we? Yeah, so just one. So, what if he accidentally kills the one that you want to attack with? So, you attack one to his face first. Because then that one might die. Ah, yeah. Oh no, no, that's terrible. If he accidentally kills it, we have to attack it. What are you talking about? If <laughs> if now, if that dies, it might blow up the one that can attack. We should have risked the one damage. I overthought. I overthought it in my own head. You're an idiot. Yeah, we have to trade in here and we just hope that it kills the other one, which it's is like... obviously what I was planning for. And you throw that down an animal companion because... There's no reason to play bow there because you haven't got any secrets. And to be honest, you could have done with that being the turn before. Huffer. Yeah, Huffer. Old Huffer. You'll find as a hunter, you're praying for Huffer most of the time. Hmm. It does do one bow. That is no problem at all. Uh, deploy yeah, the bow. Deploy the bow. Absolutely wreck that guy. Just eat him up. Yeah, and then just attack him in the face. Again, Huffle would have been better here. Huffle put eight damage down on him instead of the two we've currently done. Yeah. It's a shame we can't be pinging him, but we need to start doing that because he's going to be racing us fast. Yeah. Um, okay, he's getting there. We we play a trap to... Yeah, he needs to be attacking into you if he wants to do that. He's going to poison us, kill your guys. Trap, spy. Yeah. Or we can shot trap, spy, shot and get rid of this one. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Trap, spy for sure. We need the stats on the board. You have to kill off this guy, otherwise he just kills you. What is now a four-four? So we kill this one. No, you are shot the other one. I think you could kill that one because then if anything he plays, then it has to have rush. Yep. So yeah, you attack that and you leave your bow on board. Again, he doesn't know what secret he's playing around because we played it this turn. It could be snipe, considering we cleared the board. Yeah. But the reason we cleared the board there is that that is not going to trigger. That secret was never going to trigger. He was never going to attack us with mm. it. So, okay, oh, okay. He's got alpha. Some kind of in the middle style deck. That's fine. He's trading a lot of stuff off, but not a lot. Uh, yeah, we're just tracking. We dig up something decent. What are we going to get? Snipe, mark shot, secret keeper. I think mark. Snipe allows you to stop pinging him. What have we got on the board? It's a. 3-4. Yeah, it's a 3-4. So you'd have to kill his thing unless you're planning on eagle horn bowing. But if you snipe and hit his guy, it'll definitely trigger him. We'll get another bow trigger. 
Yeah, so... That seems reasonable. Take Snipe. And the, the other reason for taking this is we'll still have two mana, so that we can ping him with our thing. We're definitely doing two damage. You have to eat this guy, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but... And, and then we don't attack. Because now, if he unless he doesn't play a guy, in which case you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Then we're going to get another use out of our bow. So it's another three damage we didn't have otherwise. Mm. We could have used it, but... Six damage instead of three is big. Especially especially when your hero power a turn is deal two damage. That's massive. Yeah. No game should last longer than 15 turns. Essentially, if we get to 10 mana, we've probably lost. Hmm. Oh, it's a big boy as well. But we get the upgrade. Oh, he's going to kill your guy? Oh, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, unless he... So if he magnetics onto that guy... What, the bomb? No, the five one. So the gamble you play now is, does he have a guy to add onto that to stop it dying to explosive trap? Probably. And if he does, do we just trade in now and take the five damage to our face, knowing he'll put it on the other guy and attack us? Or do we just attack him in the face and trust in the cards. Trust, okay. Trust heart in, the cards. Trust, in, trust the cards. in the cards. Well you've got you've got now nine damage left. So you've got half his life. Yeah. In damage. You do need three turns to do it, but that's not bad. Five a turn over three turns is fifteen damage he's basically Just, done. When does he drop Zilliax? And it's some yeah, I mean Zilliax now would be enormous. That's okay. That dies to your <laughs> Leroy. No, it's terrible, it's gonna die. Oh yeah. He walked it's a blowout. Him. He's given us two guys. He's got a 1-1. One, one. And he gave us two guys. He gave us two guys. And triggered the secret for our bow. So you can attack him again with... Just... You you want to clear off one of his, his guys. So he yeah. can't... He doesn't have anything to hit, as you said, Zilliax yeah. onto. And then you lay down Explosive Trap and he has to play around it again. Man. And you don't actually care if he doesn't, because you have another bow. That's incredible. Like, he just... Did that, he, just he, give blew, a, he blew that. Did he just punt the entire game? Mm. Yeah, we were starting to... Okay. I didn't even know that was a card. Well, Boom Master Flark. He's not going to cut it. Um, Animal Companion, if it's Huffer, we win. If it's Huffer, we win. Five. Yeah. That's right, right? Yeah, five and five, yeah. We're good. We're all good. That's nice and easy. That was oh, nice babe. and easy. I feel like we only won that so simply because he punted hard. I mean, you could consider that, but also we now know all the cards in his hand and none of them would have mecked. That's true. Which means that was definitely going to die regardless. So yes, he threw away an extra six damage with Leroy, but we had a follow-up explosive trap, so the Leroy was probably never getting to hit us. Yeah. And we weren't within Leroy range anyway. It does six damage. I mean, that's a lot. But you mm. need to have you need to have the control of the board. You need to be attacking, 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 or panic. They are very low life. I'll yeah. just hit them. But we had loads of life. Yeah. And we had the board, so we had to be deciding. Yeah. 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 I mean, he blew it. Yeah, he did blow it. But you, you may have noticed that our quest we have one out of three completed is. Oh yeah, how did we not mention that? Yeah, we not mention the fire festival. The fire festival. Welcome to the fire yeah. festival. Hello everyone at the fire festival. Fire festival. Fire festival. Fire festival. So, so not what? like the one. The the one that got uh, that Jay Z didn't go to and nobody turned up. And to. was on an island and they were like in huts. Not that one. Not that one. The we gourmet definitely... food was a cheese slice. That always made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, not Azalina. Obviously. Uh, uh, not Mark Shot, I don't not think. Not Mark Shot. I think probably not Eagle Hombo. Okay. It's good. Mm. Yeah, you keep mm. some Rubik's cards. Mm. Mo lots, like one third of our deck is secrets. We're going to draw one. There's there's That's, lots of them. That's how much better is that hand? That's so much better. It's so much better. And if we keep the coin... We, oh. Oh, dear. Maybe we... Yeah, you, I mean, you, you secret keep a first hand. Sure. Uh... What if he just kills it? Do you want to be able to do it? Because we can play that turn too. Yeah, we get one fewer attacks out of it. We just secret plan, I think. Secret plan, see what it we get. It still keeps our mana Ooh, going. Misdirection. That might actually be... It's big. Mm. I don't think you take Freezing Trap. 
Snake, snake trap or misdirection? I'm tempted by misdirection. So am I, because we could draw the snake trap. Yeah. And so we can next turn coin play misdirection. Mm. Uh, Secret keeper play misdirection, which is it's pretty, pretty big boy news. And it means that he doesn't have the opportunity to just kill it with backstab, for example. We're just making him use a few more cards and sacrificing. Yeah. So you can keep a coin. Two damage, I guess. Misdirection? Yeah. I know what you do. It's a shame it couldn't be Sun Reefer, but next turn. So he's almost certainly going to trigger this by yeah. attacking it. But if he plays out one of his guys first, he might accidentally attack that. And considering whether or not explosive travel would have been. See? Hmm. Oh! Oh, wait, wait. I don't know if he can attack the wrong thing. He can't attack the wrong mm. thing. That's probably going to throw him off. Yeah. That would throw me off. What is it? What's happening? Um. Probably you need to be on the board here. Yeah. So I think we probably Sun Reaver. And just have. tracking. Dig for something else. It's such a good card tracking. Yeah. And you don't care about your deck. Uh, uh, companion or what we? Well, the question is what you're doing next turn. So we had a four mana next turn. Do you want to make one ones? Maybe. But it's not Hunter's Mark. I think it's between Trap or Companion. I'm thinking Companion. Why? It It's a threat. Yeah, Whereas... it is. Um, it does force him to have the answer, that's true, as opposed to being reactive. It's much more like... It is three mana, though. But we could play... The problem is you can't play the three mana spell next turn. Mm -hmm. Whereas you could play Explosive Trap and Snake Trap. But I'm not sure you do want to play Explosive Trap next turn anyway. Because he doesn't have anything on the board. So I think you take Companion. Seems like a logical... Seems, seems logical. Yeah, I mean, we reasoned our way through that. See how we didn't panic when the rope was down? Yeah. You just take your time. We didn't overthink like we did with the snakes. Still won that game though, didn't we? Still won that game. Alright, he's got some hard removal on this deck. Attack him! It's gonna have to attack him. No, I think it can it's the go only... back to you. It just makes it random, doesn't it? Oh, it's gone now. No, it's on the left hand side. Right, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, the question is, do you, do you just want to bow here? Bow hi like him? Yes, if he starts bouncing that, it's terrible news for you. But mm. if you start wasting bows, it's also terrible news for you. I'm questioning whether you just go bow and just attack him. That's what I'm thinking. Because he can faff around, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, but actually... Yeah, he's on a clock. Yeah. He's now on a 12 turn clock. Mm. He'll probably win within the 12 turns, but we've got other spells. We've got other... Alright, that we need to kill. Yeah. Good thing we've got... Throw away bow. Yeah. Oh dear, what does that do? An echo card game plus plum. It's just big stats, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can explosive trap. I think that'd be big. Arcane shot. The 3-3. The 3-3? Three, three. The three, three. Because when he attacks, it will become a 4-2. Four, four, uh, four, and die. And die. And you can ping him still. Do I swing with the... I think you attack the 3-5. Because we don't. We have another bow. Putting it into range. Into of... range. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're telegraphing your plays here mm. considerably. But I doubt he's going to pass up on an entire turn of it. At some point, he's going to have to walk into it. So yeah. when... It's going to be there. And we're going to have another bow up ready for it if he doesn't attack us to... Mm. Which is worse for him, because we just attack him, and then he has to attack into it. So, the only better option would be if he had another lackey that could make one of his guys bigger, but... Yeah. There you go. Boom. And we've done another two damage to him. Yeah, all gone. Clear this board. It's all going okay, isn't it? It's got a spell. It's got to be a big boy one. It's got to be a big boy one. What kind of things can they discover? Anything. This is any spell. So... You wait here while I list them for about 20 minutes. And we'll do that I'm sure that's riveting viewing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, ooh. I think we bow and companion. If you bow, you're probably going to kill that 3-3. Companion first. 
see what we get. Yeah. Oh. It's trash. It's the worst one. It is the worst one, but you don't want to snip stamp. I think you do both, but you probably have to kill that 3-3. Three, three. It yeah. forced him to use a card to remove your 2-4. If that was Huffer there, we are on absolute yeah. solid ground. And when you can next turn, Stranglethorn ping him. Mm-hmm. Oh, you control a lacquer. Lucky, so he gets a fantastic treasure. Yeah. I don't know what they are or what they do. But, but it can be good. There's four of them that he gets to pick from, so I'm sure it's great. That's from the Dalaran heist, that guy. Is he? Yeah. He is golden, like the golden legendary we're going to open from our golden pack from completing Dalaran, which you should go and watch. Oh, and we get the... Uh... He just cleared our board. Oh. I'm very sad about this. We drop Shimmerfly and Stranglethorn. Uh, or Stranglethorn I think just and Stranglethorn ping. ping. We're now desperately on a clock. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna kill us. Do Almost we swing as well? No. Um, We've got no secrets up, so we may get the three in. Because he could, he might have a ooze. He might have a ooze, but if he doesn't, you might want the weapon to hit one of. <sighs> yeah, I think we do what you hit him. Yeah, he's down it, the ooze is just a blowout otherwise, isn't it? 13, and we can do 7 damage next turn. So we yeah. have him on a 2 turn clock. He currently has us on a 4 turn clock. So we... Yeah, we're slightly quicker. Mildly. Um, <laughs> if the, I mean, if that's got Taunt, it might be all over. Mm. It might not. He's, he's thinking. He's in the tank. What, what? are these? Okay, he's gone for the stats. And what stats they are? Ten sixes. Well, I mean, he. We're dead next turn. Yeah. How do we kill him in one turn? Are you tracking? Well, yeah, yeah. You have to track here. Yeah. Marked shot. Azalina's not gonna do it. No, I think it has to be marked shot. How do you have to mark shot the 10 6. And hope we discover something it does. I can't mark. play that one. Deadly shot? Yeah, I think you take deadly shot. We can play it. Because you can swing into the 10 6. Okay. We can deadly shot. Hope we hit the 6 6. No. Well. I mean, it's not the worst. But we're in terrible, terrible spot right now. We're in, we're in danger. We, ha we have to mark shot our way into this win. Even freezing trap isn't that great because it, he just plays it again. He's discovering so much he's, stuff. He's all over this. He's all over this one. This discover deck I like. Hmm. Me too. I quite like this rogue deck. It's um, it's interesting. A lot of value generation without mm. being like. It's not trying to break the game. It's just trying to play with the cards really well. Which I'm okay with. It's the kind of interaction I think a rogue deck should have. Yeah. Play this, bounce that, all this kind of... Use a lot of cards that keep redrawing, like cantrips in magic, to just mm. refill your hand, do this thing, do that thing, draw some more stuff, get some more value out of my cards. Um, whereas Hunter should do largely what we're doing, which is just, I want to attack you in the face. <laughs> please. Really? Please. But without the please. Yeah, we're not no. going to do 13 damage in one turn. But we just need to keep him. Oof. That's how is how Charge is that deals with this. Yeah, and then how do you kill the other one? Well, we'll see what we find. So charge clears that, and then how do you kill the other one? Snap, snap, and do the elder. And then concede. Well played. I don't think snap, snap deserves a place in this deck. No. I'm gonna say it. It was dead. We lose a star. He looks cheap, but he's an expensive card. Because you play him turn six, not turn three. Actually, a turn three, two, three. Mm. I don't care about. Unless you're playing the mech version, I don't care about it. I think yeah. we don't have time right now to start this video to. Oh, like, towards the end of this video to go through everything and try and find an alternative. But that is one I've identified, is it? Yeah. A cut. I think Varisa, another cut. Is that already play yeah. set something we can slap in there? Whether something it's more mid secrets or mid rangey stuff. I think we do need more things on the board. Stranglethorn goes and Delina goes. Uh, yeah, they both go. I think, to be honest. Trap two? 
No, you keep trying. But the strangle thorns could go as well. They're very mm. late game. Yeah, mm. like even then, it's still a turn. We're waiting a turn, and we're so. What we're learning is this deck is so on the front foot. Yeah, we can't be waiting that long. We can't wait turn five to attack turn six. We need to be smashing down the doors way before that. Um, even Mark Shot, not so sold on. I think more creatures. That's what more we need. More creatures. We've then we can do the creature kill command. spells. Yeah, yeah. So we can go for the sort of beasty kill commandy version, I think. So we stop being spell secrets and we start being beast secrets. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to use a bit more dust though because we we heavily invested in the secret in the spell stuff. And I think building a spell hunter will be fun. So I'm not I'm not willing to break them down. Like Mark Shot, great card. That will go in a deck. But just not this one. Um, we could break Verisa down. It's 400 dust. That mm. I've just not sold on her as a card. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think in the comments as well. Yeah, if you let us know what you think of her. I mean, a 7 mana 5, 6, good stats for a budget deck. You get a weapon, sure. But how often is that spell damage really affecting you and Hunter? A lot of your spells are pumping your guys or... Doing enough damage to already outright kill most things, so I don't think it's that useful. Yeah. It's only a two damage weapon, so you can't be used that aggressively, can't remove a lot of stuff end game. So when you drop at turn seven, anything that's on the board largely would have to be a two drop or less to die to the two attack. Yeah. That just doesn't quite compute for me. Something doesn't gel with that that makes it a little bit looks like it does a lot. Not as impactful as it is. No good. This guy just roped himself out turn one. Well, that's annoying. Um, Sun Reaver? Nah, we I think play. you play trap, freezing trap. Explosive? I don't think you play explosive because he can attack you and trigger it. But he can't attack you and trigger freezing trap. Or whatever it is, frost trap? Freezing trap. Freezing trap. Because, so which is what he's testing for here. Which means he was here for the entire turn one way he was roping for no reason. Yeah. Which is a dick move to everybody. Two really sevens. Nah, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. We drop Sun Reaver. Um, Anzalina, I'm okay keeping in the deck purely because she's awesome. Yeah. And we empty our hand. We do empty our hand quite um, quickly. And drawing her off the top is an absolutely fine thing to do. Oh, so it's the old lackey right. combo again. Of course it is. Have you seen another rogue deck? Oh, we saw that chef deck. That was that was hell. Did not enjoy that. Spell damage at all. plus three. That's probably not good for him. No. Um, you can. Uh, thing is, yeah, you can just straight kill it. It's not three. a bad plan, yeah. Eat the 1-1 one, one up. Right, eat the 1-1. One, one. Ooh, you, I think you take the twin spell, because he's going to be running lots of lackeys. Yeah. I think you even kill the lackey here. Yeah. You don't Sorry. want him to bounce it. That's when he starts getting by. Yeah. It's still hard for him to remove the 3-3. Three, three. Plus, um, backstab only mm -hmm. works on an undamaged minion, so that deal 2 damage, it's not like he can just kill it and attack now. So we are... Uh... And we've got the twin spell to remove that bad boy so he can't get his fantastic treasure, which we didn't see what it was. Didn't oh, yeah, we did. We did. What was it? It was the Discover the Legendary. Blink Fox. So you just nab something of ours? No, it's just um, a random spell from class. A random spell from our class, which Hunter not so good. Mark shot the guy off. The 3 3. Yeah. We may as well. We've got to use him. Uh. Maybe bomb toss. We can use it to damage him. Yeah. Uh, and you rapid fire the other guy off. Yeah. Even though. Four yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be another. We we'll get another one. It was free. Oh yeah. What are you worried about? Go to the face. There you go. Another one. Got a second one. Kena. To remove another guy. Kena. Yes, yeah, going swimmingly. This is an alright board state for us. It isn't. Do you get um, benefits for having cards from different classes? Are there cards? There are some stuff, yeah, that that sort of give you payoff for mm. classes that aren't in your hand. It's for how many you've cast of other classes, or make them cost less. Mm. There are interactions. I just don't know how much they're played. You can bomb toss that guy. Off. Bomb toss. Yeah. And you can Animal Companion too. And if you hit Leok this time, you actually give your guy one damage, which means you can actually attack with it. Why are we putting... Where's Huffer? To the face. Where is Huffer? It's probably in one of your games. Yeah, probably. I think we're doing okay. Uh, yeah, me too. 
It's hard for rogues to remove a, a really, really grounded uh, board state. They used to have Vanish, which would reset the board state. Yeah. But that recently got taken off them because broken. rogues probably shouldn't be able to remove the entire board state and have incredible single target removal. They do have uh, that do to damage echo card. Mm -hmm. So they can start clearing everything off. Just drop the fly. What do they get? What this is the death roll they added? Uh, and a mech. random mech. Do we just eat them? Do you want to give him mechs? I mean, you could drop Varisa and just kill one. Because you'll get a weapon. It will be a good use of a weapon. Plus, we can ask the lean next to him and kill their mechs. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, yes, yeah, so you eat one. Because two through weapon, pretty much only useful for removing guys. Uh, Keep the taunt guy. No, I think you... You or attack the with the taunt guy in. To the face? Um, I'm thinking him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... Um, yeah. What was I thinking? I left my aggro hat on. Excuse me. Get that aggro Attack hat him on. in the face. That's the, Do the, that's the plan. Yeah. I was not enough... Ooh. Ooh. We got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. That's going back in your hand. And we're going to take it. It's going to burn. Has he got a full... Ah. How many has he got? Nine. Man, he's going to be using stuff. Dude, double shift. Mm. And I was going to have to attack it in the... Oh boy! That did the damage that we couldn't do. And we've got Hunter's Mark Rapid Fire, so... Hunter's Mark the 4-4? Yep. Rapid Fire that bad boy off. Uh, play Explosive Trap. Ping, Shimmer Fly attack him with everything. Everything, everything to the face. Including all. Everything you own is in a box at the face. Five. What can you do? What, yeah, what have can, you got? What have you got that removes that guy and stops you attacking, pinging, and attacking with a 1 1? He has to clear your whole. Oh, we can't even kill that. If he kills your goblin. He takes two. Thing, he takes two. And we've got Azalina. So if he fills his hand. Up. Well, well played. played. Well played. We had that. Crushed it. Crush it. Right. Now, that wasn't the game that was punted. That was a game that we were better. I agree. We played that well. I think we did well. Two, oh, 200 gold. 200 gold. At so much closer to the Dalaran. I was starting to stare at that 400 and be like, it's never going up. See? Rejoice. Play 30 cards. Well, that was something we can do. Okay, is that a free, free pack? Free pack. 30 cards. I think we can do that. We One more do. game. Um, yeah, let's squeeze another game in. You guys want to see us play another game, right? Maybe we can just check out 30 cards. Oh, Cracker Pack? I mean, 30 cards is a deck, is a whole deck. We'd uh, have to go to Fatigue. No, that's... Hmm. Oh, no, well, we discover some spells. We discover some spells. So almost to Fatigue, which I don't plan on doing. I plan to get into, like, turn six, now clear one. Hmm. Oh, I'm guessing Combo Druids. Go wide, punk guys, attack in the face. What we're going to be doing is attack in the face. <laughs> I'd keep all of this. It's okay, it doesn't do anything turn one. But... Two, we could... Snipe, what? kill the guys. Uh, snipe is just so terrible against one ones. I think you've been Sorry. Snipe. Freezing Trap's good, because it means that he can't attack with his 2-1 thing that gives him guys, because he mm. wants it to die to get two more guys. I think that's okay. Yeah, Pass. He doesn't know what we are. He thinks Mech Hunter... Oh. The joy of playing an off-meta deck, especially one that you've created yourself, is lovely. Oh, where were you last turn? I think freezing trap. No, I think just secret, secret plan. Secret What's plan? the point in secret and freezing trap? Explosive trap. Rat trap. Oh yeah, he's gonna be playing loads of cards. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with it. I'm perfectly fine with this uh, turn of events. The annoying thing is, you probably want animal companion next turn. Yeah. Maybe not anymore. I forgot about that guy. Hmm. Maybe you just play him. Two, three leaves guys on the board. Oh, that's not. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, what if you and if you animal companion and you get Huffer? Yeah. It dies to both these guys and he only takes two damage. Whereas this, he has to attack in, attack with both guys, and you leave two guys on the board. Which, when he's playing one once, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's value. a bit more than irritating. And his deck will suffer to Explosive Trap when we draw that. Oh, it will. And now he's thinking. And there's two Explosive Trap 
one secret plan and two um what's the one map tracking two tracking in there as well so it's like five opportunities to get explosive trap really we spent so many cards yeah, just to kill a guy so you can trade them both off and you don't care that he's still at full life because mm. you haven't been trying to remove anything okay tracking um companion no uh... i don't think i think you're tracking I think you take Explosive Trap, but I think you play Rat Trap. Yeah, that's... Because he has to play around it, not knowing what it is. He's probably going to play around Explosive Trap, Freezing Trap, all that stuff first. So he'll attack with a 1-1 one -one before he does anything else. Mm -hmm. it, there we go. <laughs> yep. That'll tell him if it's Freezing Trap or not, and if Explosive Trap or not. So now he'll play onto the board. But if he's smart, he'll have to think around Rat Trap. So he'll have to think, I don't want to play too many cards in one turn. So now we, we, he's slowed down. He's slowed himself down, and at some point it's going to trigger anyway. We just drop Stranglethorn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because he's not doing anything, is he? Yeah. So you drop Stranglethorn. Next turn we look at Explosive Trap, Mark Shot combinations, which is huge. Should be able to clear his board, especially with that double beast if he draws it. Mm -hmm. um, or Freezing Trap. Explosive trap is good. We're not gonna. What is this? <laughs> it's enormous. Is what it is. We're gonna mark shot it, and hope to God that we draw arcane shot. No, not arcane shot. That's not enough. Oh. We need to draw like hunter's mark. Mark shot away, sir. Uh. Or do you? Or do you just play Explosive Trap here? Mm, oh no, he just plays more guys behind it. Yeah, you could you could Explosive Trap snipe, but then we haven't got. I think you mark shot it. I think you mark shot. I think I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying mm, to think too, too in depth. Let's take a step back. Um, all of these are trash. We have any beast that you have to take freezing trap. Yeah, we can just play it. But he'll just bounce a one one back to his hand. So you don't want to play that. Explosive. You could play explosive, or you could just ping him. Pass. If you're only taking five. You don't really give a shit. If he plays more onto the board, yeah, we get more value out of explosive trap. That's one card. Remember those two drives. They look like two cards, but they're one. They're one card. You don't be playing. A, you know, it's, I think a two mana card. You don't be trading a two mana card. But Oh boy, he's, I don't know what that is. This is not the deck I know. No. He's clearly playing some kind of combination of cards to compensate for being lower on the ladder, so he's testing for everything. Very he's good. playing in the right auto. It's true. And he's not playing onto the board. These are all problems for us. Eagle Horn, you can Eagle Horn Bow, Explosive Trap. Sn uh, do you want to just. Well, there's no point pinging him. He'll. You can snipe. It's going to double trigger. So do we? I think you pass. Do we do nothing with the tiger. Yeah, because you don't want it to die. You attack That's into true. that. He'll just trade his two guys into it. Now we're triple secreted up. He's now got we... to play around everything. Yeah. Now he... and he has to attack you. So we're going to trigger that explosive trap, which is going to put that to a three-three rep. And now, if he doesn't start playing onto the board wider, but only plays big guys, freezing traps become massive. Yeah. That's a good point. Whereas when he had those 1-1s, one mm. they're like protection for the massive guy that's protected. It's a very uh, unusual way to play, but it makes it a bit complicated. And if you can bounce that, it will lose its double, double health. life. It will just be another 3-2 that... 3-12 uh, that reduces one with our cards now. Which makes it much worse. I mean, it'll still be pretty big. It'd be a th yeah. three eight. You drew another one. Oh, well, it's getting sniped. We're getting some more stuff. Uh, you get to frost trap. One of them's going back. You're taking three damage. But... He's he's playing around rat trap. He's Consider playing around he's rat trap. Okay. And we're taking some damage. Secret keeper. I I don't know if you. Secret Keeper Freezing Trap. Freezing Trap. 
It won't die then. You can't play two freezing traps. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's a way you can kill his guy. Not like this. Attack it for eight. Ten. Only if you animal companioned well, could you... Gives him an... Yeah, I think you're animal companion. If it's Misha... Oh, it's not Misha. Um, it's never the one you want, is it? So you can attack everything into this. And clear it off. So you attack with your 5-5 five five into that. And your face. And your arcane shot. Oh my god. And you drop Secret Keeper. And you Frost Trap. Freezing Trap. Freezing Trap. Stop calling it Frost Trap. Where, why is, where's Frost Trap from? I have no idea. It'll be another game. It'll be another game. Because I'm clearly not loyal enough to this game. Okay, so now he doesn't attack. Because he's worried and he wants to set something else up to attack. You can wrath your guy off, that's pretty huge. Does this put copies of both into his hand? Oof. Oh no. That's 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 huge. Uh, that's huge. Rat trap, but I don't know if that's enough. It's only enough if he forgets and attacks. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise we can't kill that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're just screwed. If he doesn't attack there, we're yeah. screwed, but now you can attack and kill it. With a two three. Yep. No, 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 no. With your face. Oh, yeah, with me. And then you do more damage to him, and shimmer fly, and you ping him. And you play freezing trap. Because you want him to be like, oh my god, what is that? And then you ping him. We should have freezing trap first, you should have done extra damage. But never mind, you know, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. And he burns. Oh, he burns Zillia. <laughs> that card is always good. I'm yeah. Always, I'm always happy to see it burn. Doesn't matter what deck I'm playing, always happy to see that burn. So that's pretty big. We had a spell. Is it good? Deadly. It's all right, yeah. actually. Because he might, he'd be. I mean, he's trying very hard to remove stuff, and he's got the double halves of wrath in there as well. Mm. That's pretty big. But if he plays another big guy and goes, "Hey, I've got." My bear. What's the answer? My bear. If he's got my bear, he is. He's removing everything. He's hitting us with quite a lot. He could have just double swiped us in the face in the tank just to kill us, but. Yep. You know the game plan now. You got the game plan on you, son? Yep. You read it? Came to the game. Came to the bolt game. Ready? Prepared? Nine damage. Just over three turns. We've got 15 damage in our hand. He's there gone. you go. I told you you'd hide behind one, didn't I? Yeah. Got no cards in hand, attempts that kind of thing out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tracking is beautiful right now. Just drop it. Drop play it. it. And uh, what do we what do we hit? Uh, oh, a Sun Reaver. We've got a tra we've got a thing. I was going to say explosive trap because it's two damage, but the Sun Reaver's huge. Deadly shot, Sun Reaver. Paying attack. You know the score. You know the score. Come at me, bro. Now we're doing eight damage a turn. And he's sweating. He, he does have. Sweating. He's got wrath. He's he, got enough in hand to remove that. It's going to cost him four. He did use a lot of cards getting rid of everything else last time. He's still got loads in his hand, though. Yeah, there you go. So that's one. Draws a card, uses the other half. Or does he already use the other half? Is that what that weird card was? I was like, I don't recognise it. He's got nothing free. Vargoth. Vargoth, so he's going again. He can hit Vargoth, I think. We probably ignore Vargoth. I think we ignore Vargoth, because... Uh... Well, we've got freezing traps, he can't attack. But he can just cast... Hit Vargoth. Mm. Yeah. yeah! Oh. Do we hunt his market? Well, we're doing this. You think? 16. Has he attacked? Since we played that, has he attacked us? No. Oh, you don't want a Hunter's Market. You're going to Frost Trap it back to his hand. That's true. So you Hunter's Market if you want to kill it. Which maybe we do. But you attack it with your face. Show me! Because, I mean, do you care, at this point, do you care about the difference between five and seven life? Not massively. Not really, no. Plus, you've still got 
15 damage on in weapons and pings over mm. three turns in your hand. We have seen that he's got some taunts, so hopefully those are the only two he has, and yeah. that's what he uses fingers that crossed, spell fingers for. Crossed. Because drawing that, doubling his health, you know it's going to go to 24. Azalina's going to be huge if we draw her. That's actually true. Azalina off the top is a massive, massive draw. That's a waste. It, no, well, he's, he's desperate. He's just throwing oh, down stats. Well, the problem is... Throwing down stats is good here. That's the card I was afraid of him playing with Vargoth on board. <laughs> um, yeah, you as Alina. So we hit something big. Life still dry. Um. What? I don't understand why that is glowing. I don't know. Goop spray. So he's looking to combo something off. Um, well, we could just crystal power and restore our health and be like. I think. Oh, what restore our health? Yeah, attack one. Show me. Attack the other with your face. And restore the health. Res you can restore health if you want. Oh no, just summon dryads. Unless you're worried about. No, no, no. Wait. Does this do two damage? To a minion. So this is his hand. He does nothing in his hand. Does damage to us. Yeah. So we dry it. It represents more life gain over turn. So why don't we just do this anyway? Oh, we've got it as well? Yeah. Oh, then... Yeah. Yeah. You probably don't... Yeah, select it. Select yourself. You probably don't want to be sitting on two life. He can attack us. That's two turns worth mm. of killing us. But this way, if we didn't have that, that's still the right play because you start gaining more life a turn. That two damage adds up over time. This he drew that. That's irritating. He drew a massive taunt guy. Mind control tech came off something. So he's got the dryads as well. Yeah. Goop spray. So I'm a copy of each ad adjacent minion. So we can get another Azalina. No, no. But what you can do is you can summon and make two copies of the of the taunt. Eight. question is oh this becomes a copy yeah play it for four uh, unless you want to is goop spray better with it's the copy seven. it doesn't work yeah but this will become a copy oh. so yeah I think you face this minute but I think this gets weird now and then you copy it again and then I don't think we attack there's nothing in his hand that does damn it. To, he can kill one guy. Don't give a shit about that. It will give us life for it, but he'll gain life as well. It doesn't matter. You you, no, he can't you end a turn. He's got that one card that gains him five life or does two damage. He's already used it to do two damage to one thing, I think. But if he does it to that, we wouldn't get any life. I forgot about Frost Trap. Yeah. Freezing Trap. I forgot about that because it's been there forever. Yeah. But at this point, it probably doesn't matter. It might matter if we draw Sunder Oh, he's going to do the same. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. a weird and then, game. And then we're going to goop spray it in the middle. I'm very confused about how this game is going. He can regain the life, though, so he can make them all come back. So we need to kill his guys first, I think. Before we goop spray. Can we kill all his guys? Yes, I'll go with that one. We can trade those in, yeah, and then he can get it back. Summon a copy of each adjacent minion. So he can still summon. He can still summon two guys. We need to be on the front foot here. Yeah. So, so two into one. That's. You've got to play this first. Yes, you do. In the middle. Yep. They grow up so Have we got fast. enough space on the board? We fucked up. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's only seven. We yes. I thought it was eight. No. And he knew. So we fucked up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they both have to go in to make one ball. Man. You ping him. We fucked up so badly. Yeah, now he's going to get two more. Yeah, we've lost this race now. We, I don't know what we need to draw. Like, I can't see much in our deck that wins us this now. Because he can also make them come back. Hunter's Mark? We can't. Making them dormant is great, but he needs to. We need to force him to use his thing. 
Yeah, I, don't, I think we may as well quit. I don't think we can actually win. Yeah, I think that we're just hanging on for the hope that he's going to screw something up, but he's not. I'm interested to see how it plays out. Just for what it plays out bit, is, you but... kill a guy, he makes them all come back. We can't make ours come back. It fills up all the dead guys. Shall we? Um... You just yeah, you just well yeah. played. I think if we hadn't screwed that up, fine because we can tip the tap. We were ahead. Mm. We can trade some guys, force him to use his thing. That's so irritating. What a punt. Yeah. Yeah, it feels it's not irritating, but I never mind. We're gonna need a break. Yeah, me too. I think I need a break. We played 25 of those 30 cards, and but... we'll see if we can. Uh, if we can change up some of the things in our deck. Yep. All right, we'll see you in the next one. See you then.